and the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The great in peace, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. <coughs> My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the great feast of Christ the King. We will learn more through the reason for what happened. Who was sent to hear the contrast of God? Lord have mercy. You came to call singers, Christ have mercy. You seek the Lord at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God the Father and the Highest, among all peace and people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are teaching at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, your beloved Son, King of the universe, wanted to restore all things. Let us pray that all creation Free from slavery, will serve your majesty and forever proclaim your praise. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, the love to run to you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And now offer to darkening our religion for us. Reading from this second scroll of Daniel. All the family group Israel came to David at Hebron. They said to him, We are in your flesh and blood. In the past, when Saul was our king, you led the people of Israel in battle. The Lord said to you, you will become the shepherd of my people, Israel. You will become the leader of Israel. So all the leaders of Israel came to David at Hebron. David made an agreement with the people in the presence of the Lord. The leaders anointed David. He became king of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When they said, let us go to God's house, I rejoice. When they said, let us 
that would kill God's hands. I rejoice. I rejoice when they said, let us go to God's house. Now we are here, standing inside the city of Jerusalem. When they said, let us go to God's house, I rejoice. Jerusalem, a strong city, well built. People go there to thank the Lord. It's the house of David. People praise the Lord's name. It went. When they said, let us go to God's house, I rejoice. Reading from St. Paul's letter to Colossians, we thank God the Father that he made it possible for you to join the saints and to see the light with them. Is this what God has done? God freed us from the power of darkness and evil. God brought us faith into the kingdom of his son. Through Jesus, we have redemption and the forgiveness of our sins. No one can see God. Jesus Christ the image of the invisible God. Christ is the first form of all creations. Through him, God created everything in heaven and earth. Things we see, things we cannot see. Kings, rulers, lords, and the spiritual house. All things were created through Christ and for Christ. Christ lived before anything was created. All things continue to live because of him. Christ is the head of the body. The body is the church. Christ is the beginning, the firstborn, uh, raised from the dead. So he is above all things. God wanted perfection in Christ and through his death on the cross. God reconciled everything in heaven and everything on earth. God reconciled all things to himself, giving peace through the death of Jesus on the cross. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessings on Jesus coming in the name of the Lord. Blessings on Jesus from the family of King David. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And so just it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Praise you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The people watching Jesus. Jewish leaders mocked Jesus and said, He saved other people. Is he really a God chosen one? The boy, let him save himself. Soldiers also mocked Jesus. 
For one day came, he gave Jesus vinegar, they said to him, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. On top of the cross was written, This is the king of the Jews. One of the thieves insulted Jesus, saying, Are you the Christ? Save yourself, and stay back. But the other thief took him off, said, Have you no respect for God? You got the same punishment as Jesus. You and I should be punished. But Jesus did nothing wrong. Then the first thief turned to Jesus and said, Jesus, remember me when we enter your kingdom. And Jesus replied, Truly, yes, I promise you, today you will be with me in paradise. The gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, today gospel is from the crucifixion that we read and hear and see every good Friday. And it's the story of the two thieves, one other side of Jesus. The fourth thing is repentance. The bar thing is mocking, making fun of the situation. And really, the fourth thing picks up and tells the friend about the wrong. You've got the same person, Jesus, innocent. But when the God thing turned to Jesus and said, Remember me when we're in your kingdom, that is when we learn again that Jesus is king. That wrong of the car about that king of the Jews. But Harlot had that written half mocking the Jewish leader because they wanted Jesus killed. But also Harlot recognized that Jesus was a good man. He really didn't want to have Jesus killed, but he was a play of the Jewish people could become a riot, a riot, and could become a problem. That's why Jesus acknowledging the good deed gives him hope. Today, the world will work me in paradise. So even when we are dying, there's the hope that we can be saved, redeemed by Jesus leading us to heaven. The idea of king is important because the Jewish people 2,000 years ago, they wanted a good king. And that's why when they talk about King David, he was already anointed king when Saul was. And Saul was anointed by Samuel. Then 
Stop your wall, let it pop, a warranty, let it be. To become king of your God, that's stop it brought. The more I the kingdom of Israel different, so there were two kingdoms, Tao, Zuta, and more Israel. But while today speaking, the people of the League of the more wanted David to become king of both more and Tao to come together become one kingdom Israel. And that's why today speaking, you see that they anointed with all that David become king of everything. And that the link with Jesus because Jesus who daughter was from David family. That's the link. So, when we all remember the time of November, we remember dead people, we remember to pray for them, we remember if we are dying, we also have hope when we turn to Jesus and ask Him. Remember me when you come in your kingdom. We never give up hope, never give up, possible as best you can, because God loves you and me. We are loved to give him thanks. So let us pray. The last thing from him coming in the name of the Lord. Blessing from Jesus from the family of King David. And now Join me in the first thing I pray to the best tree. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in God the Holy Spirit. Each is God, God is one. Let us pray for all leaders around the world, especially Pope Francis, all our bishops, and all the peace that work so hard to lead us. That God is blessed and give them strength. This our prayer is prayed the Lord. We pray for the many people who work so hard through COP27, the meeting that's happening in Egypt, working to try to solve climate change. Already, we know that the Ukraine is growing so cold. Other parts of the world, even parts of America, I found out this morning is snowing. So we pray that the people from far, the leaders, where COP27 will walk more hard to turn to improve our world. But after we pray, the Lord. Remember to pray for peace. We need peace in our hearts, our minds. We need peace in our home, family, and friends, where we live, where we work. But the battle, we need peace 
between Waka and Ukraine. So we try to teach this author in the Rule number to five for third or a six. Many people of our society so many names. So God knows them. So we pray for them and serve to a failure in time for this author we pray for. We pray for all our families and friends who are died, remembering these names, part of the Catholic Death community, and pray for them. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, let the touch your light shine upon them, may they rest in peace. Amen. And now, pray for a moment for your own partner intentions. Fifth author, we pray to the Lord. And now, together, we ask our lady. Jesus is mum to pray with us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is thee, blessing art thou amongst women, and blessing is the truth of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray, friend, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Of the Lord, such sacrifice that your hands and the praise and glory of his name, for our work of all its things. After we offer the sacrifice which reconciles all people to you, we humbly pray, your Son, Himself we give all nations gifts of unity and peace to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. The Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, which is Christ and God. It is through the right and God, our duty and salvation, always happy us to be found. Lord, for the Father Almighty, the power of God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the all of gladness. The Son of Peace, King of all creation, and by offering himself on the altar of the cross, 
he became the perfect sacrifice to give us peace, accomplishing the mystery of human redemption and making all created things obey his will. He presents the wonderful majesty, the eternal universal kingdom. Kingdom of truth and life. Kingdom of holiness and grace. Kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so worth all the angels in heaven, we rejoice and say, Holy, 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 Lord God hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Second to Christmas. Who are the holy? The fount of all holiness. Most holy, the gifts we pray by sending your spirit upon them, not to do all, but they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, who were betrayed and entered into his pardon. He took bread and given thanks to God, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat, for this is my body given up to you. Then the way when the supper was empty, he took the chalice and one for giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you free us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, given that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ will not be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, being part of the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Paul, all our local bishops, and all clergy. The member of the city and brothers who are falling asleep to the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph has passed, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who please you throughout the ages, we my mouth to be called her to recover life. I live and rejoice with you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever 
and other. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, but we work peace all our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, and safe from all distress, we await the blessed of hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your pastor, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But mark and our sin become the place of your church, the grace we like peace to unity no problem to your world, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Um, peace of the Lord be with you. Let your die in peace. Lamb of God, you take away sin to our mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sin to our mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sin to our grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. So I am not worthy that you send her unto my wish, but only to the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God, we pray. My Jesus, I believe you are here, the holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and happy desire to receive you into my soul. Since I can't receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul. That I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we receive full of everlasting life. Let us obey Christ, King of the universe, and forever live with him in his heavenly kingdom, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. 
Thank you to God.